is so I fucking think oh, this month is October uh, and Grits had put out a Harry version of or a Harry episode basically of the amazing digital tickets we should react to it. I know it's episode three and we have reacted to one or two. I know the episodes seem to really be tied to amateurs. So I thought eh, might as well jump in with three amateurs. Before we jump into the episode, I just want to say that this episode is well, this video is also about WND, and if you want to get ten percent off your order of the series of Paris Day, you can go to DJ Revolution, that's DJ Revolution, and all tests in the promo code section will catch it out of the Secrets of Paris Day and if you want an easy way to set it on you can hit the link in the description down below and you can go to the revolution in the powerful session when you check it out your order of the Secrets of Paris Day and without any more of that uh, let's get into episode 3 of the Amazing Digital Circus. <laughs> oh, well, we can't it. hold it any uh, longer. Sure you can. We can't die from oxygen deprivation, remember? But it still feels like I'm gonna die. Try not thinking about it. Or you could toughen up. I want to see what your funny cartoon body does. Hey, take it easy. Well, take it easy. That's you. All right. Here I go. <sighs> All right, we've entered the blue zone. Hey, there's something new. Okay, we're getting red. Oh, orange. Yellow. Green. Whoa, look! Now she's turning blue! She was already blue. <laughs> huh. Guess the hue shift just gets faster. Why am I the one doing this? Why not one of you guys? Because something different happens with each person. For instance, Kinger starts glowing, Ragatha's hair noodles stick up, Gangle's mask starts spinning, and Zubal turns straight. My limbs straighten up and fuck off. What about you? He refuses to show us because he's a coward. I want to keep the mystery alive. What do you, the viewers, think it is? <laughs> oh, that's so funny. He teleports so far. But, uh, I think he just did something. <laughs> uh. So, oh, I got so much so. But, cough, I don't, I don't mean to. Yeah, but, um, yeah, I think he does what Polly does, like, that cover heels here, like, double, like, purple to yellow, from purple yellow to, like, blue, red, maybe, or, or to green, and, uh, to green and red. Need that a normal human would need. 
but you know, it's leave you know, it's to sleep or eat or anything else. But I don't know if you can take body with me. So I really thought I was too interested to think about that. Um, but yeah, it's so fun that you do all different things if you hold your breath. So let's just continue with that. Will you stop doing that? Why is everybody <laughs> just standing around when there's adventure to be had? Today's adventure is the mystery of Mildenhall Manor! That's right, this big spooky mansion has been rumored to be filled to the brim with paranormal activity! It's up to you to solve the house's deep mysteries and capture all the ghoulish ghost activity you can! And for the first time ever, you can! Where's Zubal? I made this adventure really cool and uh, mature, just for them! Nah. Wait, he didn't finish that thought? Wait, he said it can to sit or can sit here first first for the first time ever you can and then did he not finish that? But I don't think he does, but but I read this possible thinking, like, what could he mean? What do you think he, what do you guys think he means by that? Like, the first time you can die, or the first time you can, for the first time you can, what? And, oh, it's funny that Bubble, his pet Bubble here, is doing backwards it's here. Um but yeah <laughs> Wait, what what do he mean by you could what do you guys think? What he what he means by the first time for the first time ever you you guys time. What? The NPCs aren't going to become self-aware in this one, right? How should I know? I'm not the boss. Oh wait, yes I am! <laughs> anyway, everybody into the fractal noise! It's adventuring time! Oh, so yes, this is an ad here. Oh, this place is spooky. I wonder how hard Kane's gonna go with the scare factor. I hope this adventure doesn't end up being another horrible nightmare. I'm not really a fan of horror, and I don't really handle jump scares that well. Boop. <laughs> ah, come on, that wasn't even scary. What, you scared of the vacuum cleaner too? Hey, be nice to her. She's had a rough couple of days. Her and everyone else. Right, Gangle? <laughs> Does anybody hear what the heck? Cats is this weird and this mean for fucking no reason? What? Was he like you jerk or something? What the heck? Oh my goodness, he's annoying. <sighs> More annoying than the rest of them. Oh my word, yikes. Won't they go back in? <laughs> I remember my first wild take. I don't know why they're not retracting though. That didn't happen for me. Before you continue on your adventure, you What the heck? You see in a cartoon the eyes will track, but this time it didn't? No that's a weird thing, right? You should be tracked like that, right? 
you have to you know you tried as a matter. We went crazy every day, but yeah, I I think you don't normally stay with our socks as kind of interesting but also kind of weird too. And this is an interesting little ghost. <laughs> Oh, can shoot what you can we do? You have to choose which door you're gonna go through. The door on the left is the normal door. Rated wow for all ages. The door on the right is the really scary door. Rated hot ah! for mature zoobles only. It's up to you to do <laughs> oh, oh, come on, Dad. Ah, I thought we were supposed to capture all the ghosts. Uh, which door should we choose? Hmm, not sure. Let's try this out. Oh. Don't worry, Gangle, I'll get it for you! <laughs> oh, that's the scary door. Oh, this is Zubal, come door. on out! Yes. I just want to talk to you! I know. What? Have you what? done that the whole time? Zubal, I, I just want to get to the bottom of why you keep skipping all my amazing adventures. You could end up really hurting Bubbles' feelings. Uh, Bubbles' feelings? Enough about Bubbles' feelings. I don't know. Your feelings. I... So, what's on your mind, Zubal? I would rather not. <laughs> That's hilarious! Go on. No, I mean, I've already told you what my problem is. You just never remember because... <sighs> never mind. My mind is a beeswax polished coconut. Nothing ever escapes these cakes. So what can I do to make my adventures more appealing to you? See? This is exactly what I'm talking about. All you're thinking about is your adventures. It has nothing to do with the adventures. It's more just... Ugh, forget it! You're probably not even listening. Zubal! Oh, maybe I never can. I never can hear this. This is an AI. He just can't pick up on it because it's a motion, maybe? I don't know. But, but yeah, can hear this can't remember it because. It's a, a female AI can't really process like a human's can since he's an AI and she will she will is he some like human. Look at this cool bee I drew. Uh, wh where are we? Oh, I can't see Oh, that's... No... Oh, yeah, 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 it's just... I wonder what this thing is. My name is Baron Theodore Mildenhall. Hunting has been a hobby of mine for as long as I can remember, although one could say it eventually became more of an obsession. The creature you see before you is one I've been pursuing for years. Not quite a man, but not quite an animal. Something unholy, something evil. I took it upon myself to spend every waking moment doing all I could to protect my family from the creature, hoping that when I'd eventually killed it, I would be freed from this awful feeling, this inescapable dread. I was wrong. You know, I'm starting to think... How about we try to find a way... Okay, can you please just continue on what you were thinking there? Okay, yeah, I think it's a weird face to have. Yeah, and... He just stops, but really, he needs to continue what he was 
Don't you say that? Because this weird is the same act. Uh, yeah, two different things. Two, what he was saying, and he did. That was weird. Very weird. Back up to the others. Okay, cool, that's great. I love these adventures. We could always ride this thing, yo. Yeah. <laughs> it's, it's locked, of course. It's locked. I love that it's locked. Tuesday, December 4th. Although I had shot the creature multiple times in its vitals and severed its head to keep as a prize on my wall, my troubles were just beginning. I took my eyes off the body for what felt like only a minute, and when I looked back, the body was gone. The creature was not dead, and it would be back to reclaim what I'd taken from it. If anyone is listening to this, all I ask of you is one thing. Do not let the head out of your sight. You have been warned. Wow. This is some rather inconvenient lore placement. I got it! Yeah, but, yeah, but, but it's too Paramount yeah. Plus presents Peak Screaming. So sit back, relax, and enjoy. Black Doom. So yes, it's a blue eyes here. I will do it. And this is some rather inconvenient darkness. <laughs> yeah, it is some inconvenient no. darkness there. Oh, wait, you mean me grabbing you right now? Yeah, that was me. Is this your hand? Uh, that's my eye. Yes, but which eye? I really don't think that matters. Will you stop touching my eye? Okay, that's oh, really yeah, funny sorry. and it's <laughs> really funny. I just remembered a really funny joke. Uh, yeah. You, you, why did you scream then? Maybe you wasn't actually that funny. Oh my god. I think we should hold on to each other and slowly make our way back into the trophy room. Uh, sounds fine to me. What was that? What's what? That. It's probably just magnets. Or a boat. Uh, a boat? Whatever the case, I think we should be completely quiet. I... Okay, yeah, I agree. You know, you're really hit and miss with these things sometimes. And there's a fly, there's a fly in here. Here. Don't you think that's making a lot of noise? Oh god, there is a fly. And... gotcha! I think I got him. I can't see my hands. I'm sorry, could you speak up? I couldn't quite make that out. <laughs> no, no, uh, that was a nothing. I said, oh, that was, that was terrifying that came from. So, she said, speak up, I told you that you know, nothing said. Oh, oh, yes, I said, good. I said, she was. That was a bit creepy in the same way. Oh, my word. Tommy! I think this might be the creature from the tapes! You look beautiful, honey. adventures to torture my guests any torment i inflict is 100 percent accidental like any good war criminal we weren't even talking about that wait what then what were you talking about <coughs> but you know, but what the heck were they even talking about then i really couldn't give less 
less of a crap about the adventures. Then what is your problem, Zubal? I'm trying my best to remember, but both you and my brain won't tell me. <sighs> it's me, remember? I don't like myself. I hate this body. I hate all these stupid removable pieces. Uh, I just want to uh... find something that feels good. Oh, yeah, now I remember why I couldn't remember. It's because that problem is already solved. Simply swap out your undesirable Zubal parts for better ones. Uh -huh. I've been trying to find parts I like since the day I got here. So, back to the adventures. Forget it. Forget it? Just forget it. Forget what? Kane, nobody likes your stupid adventures. Ha <laughs> ha, good one, Zubal. Ragatha's just too nice to say anything. Jax just likes to fight with everybody. Gangle's okay. too shy to speak yes. up. Kinger's insane. And, and Pomni, she looks traumatized oh, she? every time she comes back from one. Oh, okay. Zubal, Zubal, Zubal. Making adventures is my art. It's all I exist to do. All I'm good at. And uh, what you're saying could imply that I'm bad at the only thing I'm good at. And that... <laughs> oh, uh -oh. That be. Oh my god. Uh oh. He's looking down. Uh, yes. Whose therapy yes. session is this yes. again? Yes. Oh yeah! We need to get to the bottom of your behavioral issues. I'm gonna show you some oh. plots and you're gonna say the first what? word that comes to your mind. Oh god, where are we now? I'm not sure. Seller of some kind. <coughs> Things have gotten far worse than I could ever have imagined. My paranoia had driven me to the point where I was no longer the protector my wife and theoretical children needed. Jumping at every shadow, every noise, I ended up shooting the love of my life, mistaking her for the creature. It's ironic, isn't it? In my attempts to protect her, I ended up becoming the monster myself. Now I wait down in my cellar, no longer having anything to protect but my own soul. If nothing else, I will slay the beast that took everything from me. How's about we take his gun? Yeah, sounds good to me. Please don't come. Okay, I won't. Oh, that weird. Jesus, don't. But every time. Looks like we've got two shots. Let's make them count. Uh, yeah. Stay behind me. Oh, that's there, creepy. Kinger, I, I think we may have a problem this way too. Just leave it to me. I can handle this. Oh. Oh. Nice. Well, that wasn't so bad. Which is what I would be saying if I didn't know that the creature was actually one of God's angels. What? And anyone who brings harm to it will be dragged down into the cold, spiraling pits of hell where my soul resides. I apologize, dear listener, but I need a living host in order to escape the Hall of the Damned, and your bodies will be my only means of doing so. Now wait, how did he record this if he was in hell? I hope you're ready, because the next breath you take down there will be your last, and your bodies will belong to me. Let go of me! I hate this stupid adventure! Mmm, good tea. Sorry again about your husband killing you and everything. Oh, you know how men are. Always having the silliest priorities. <laughs> oh, yeah. I know it. Oh, yeah. 
If your friends see him, I only hope he doesn't bore them to death with his endless monologues. That man could turn a 57 second story into a Greek tragedy. I'll be sure to ask them next time I see him. Thanks again for the tea. I had a really nice time here. <laughs> Don't mention it. Feel free to visit any time. Definitely! Congratulations, my little ironclad waffle cones! You've taken the pacifist route, and you should be proud of what good people you are! Unfortunately, we still need to wait until your other teammates finish their adventure before I can grant you permission to leave! I wonder how long that'll be. Yeah, that's gonna be a while. Not really typical of what you'd think hell would be. We are literally in hell right now! HELL! Of course I'd be in hell! How could I not be in literal hell right now? Just try to stay calm. I'm sure Kane included a way to escape. How the heck is Kane so calm and sensible? He's usually the crazy one, but he's not. It's just weird. I hope we find out why. This is a weird in this case. Hold on. Let me try something. Hey, there's actually a staircase down there. It could be a way out. Maybe it'll work for us since we still have our bodies? Though I'm worried about what that tape said earlier. I'm just gonna try going fast. Wait, Pommy! souls are attracted to living things, just want a vessel to be able to leave with. Man. Seven years of computer science for this, huh? <laughs> Why? Every day I spend here is one nightmare after the next. I knew it would end up like this! He, oh, he just wants me to suffer. I really am in hell. Don't say that. You're not in... Well, I, I guess we are technically and forget about that oh yeah how about we just <laughs> relax for a bit while nothing's chasing us <laughs> it was my fault we went down this path wasn't it i'm really sorry for that why have you been acting so different lately. Oh, yes, <laughs> finally, so I, I have. have I? I'm normally not too good with memories, but being surrounded by darkness always brings me back to a certain time. Right after my wife had Hi. abstracted, I don't recall the exact string of events, but we both ended up in the fort together, and it was dark. The darkness seemed to calm her down a bit. The harsh, jagged edges smoothed out, and she didn't seem aggravated anymore. She wasn't the same as before, but she was calm enough to touch one last time before she got sent to the cellar. Oh, it's just... I'm always taken back to that moment when engulfed in darkness. You had a wife? Like, here in the circus? Yeah. She was funny, creative, really into entomology. I used to hate bugs, but she somehow got me to like them. It's not the most cheerful memory, but it's one I at least have control over. Oh, 
I know how I can feel in this circus. Sometimes it all just feels pointless. Yeah. But it's not. Not if you have people who care about you. Good memories can do a lot. Hold on to them. And cherish the people around you. You never know when they'll be gone. In this world, the worst thing you can do is make someone think they're not wanted or loved. I'm glad you're here with me. Hour 35, that's a personal best. Let's go! Let's go! Ooh. You know, I've been thinking about that last tape. He said, the next breath you take down there will be your last. Maybe we can get through if we don't breathe. I'm not very good at holding my breath. Well, how about we try not thinking about it? If we leave and we go back to the circus, you're just gonna go back to being crazy. You're not gonna remember any of this, are you? Don't worry about me. As long as you remember it, things will be okay. You're very strong, Pommy. And I know you'll be able to get through this. Thank you. Just hold on to me. We'll get through it together. You ready? Okay? Was it scary? I'm fine, actually. What happened up here? Uh, don't worry about that. Pommy was very brave. At least I think she was. Were you? Something like that. Hey, Ragatha. Yeah? I just want to say thanks for always being concerned about me. I feel like through everything. I haven't really been appreciative enough about that. Uh, oh, thank you, Pomni. I just want to make sure you're doing all right. You know, we care about you. Did you remember to get my comedy mask? And, and now I'm, I'm just starting to wonder if the Wild West was even a real direction at all. Whoopsie daisy, looks like everybody completed the adventure and they're coming home. Quick, pretend we weren't having a therapy session. Okay. Welcome back, my meowing milkmaids. Don't ever call us that again. <laughs> so what was it like being stuck with the nutcase? It wasn't that bad, actually. This is episode of the Amazing Nintendo Circus that we are next week. And if you should react to more of it, uh, and should it react to it one and two of it, anyway, uh, but yeah, it was a pretty good episode. Uh, I definitely read the part where 
Peter is telling his back story, even if it is kind of sad. Um, but yeah, you see his table napkins in there. So, so, it's nice to see that he actually can listen crazy all the time. Uh, so, let me know in the comment section down below what you guys think of that show. And, uh, and if we should react to it more. So, uh, if you like this episode, you know, see us in the next.